I've decided to start my journey in Milan, one of the richest cities in Italy. And not just because they don't pay their taxes. This is the center of the Italian fashion industry. And while I'm not what you'd call a fashionista, I do know that image and designer labels lie right at the heart of the Italian psyche. This is the Galleria Vittorio Emanuele. It's one of the world's oldest and most glamorous shopping malls. And I'm here to meet fellow Brit, or Irish to be more precise, Genevieve Kennedy. Oh, ah, Genevieve. Hi, how are you? Hello, I'm fine, nice thank you. you. Thank you. This is the Galleria. Right, it looks well, lovely. And I'd like to show you something very particular. Okay. Go right ahead. This way? Yes, indeed. Genevieve moved to Milan 15 years ago, and she's promised to show me what, for her, captures the real essence of this city. And she's not hanging around. You know, I, I associate Milan as being a very uh, fashionable place, the sort of centre of the fashion industry. That's, that's more or less correct, I imagine? Absolutely. It's the centre of fashion, I mean, European fashion. Um, taken extremely seriously and yes. it's actually something that's in the jeans. So In the jeans uh, and the shirts as well, I can see. So, Paul, this is the famous fashion street called Via Monte Napoleone. Mm -hmm. People will come down here to parade. To be seen window shopping. Absolutely. I mean, there is a lot of pressure to look good. And, you know, it can be very traumatic for somebody who's just arrived in this city and has come to live here, you uh -huh. know, because there is an expected dress code for so many places. And how do you find out what those dress codes are? Well, you can see, I think, with your own eyes. You can, you can, you can really tell the difference immediately. It really matters to them, all this stuff. It does, it does, because it, it conveys not only um, your physical appearance, but it conveys your lifestyle. Uh -huh. What exactly do you do? Well, all these people seem to do is parade up and down the street. But Genevieve has now taken me to one of Milan's newest designer stores. An experience I'd put several notches below a visit to the dentist. This is very, very unique, trust me. Uh, no, well, some, last time someone said trust me, I ended up spending six months in the Hungarian circus. Dirk Bickenbergs is actually a Belgian designer whose creations are inspired by football, which he believes is the universal language of the 21st century. Yeah, well, no, I don't think that's really going to suit me, actually, to be honest. But I'm not so sure. OK, well, I'm going to maybe show you something a bit more to your taste upstairs. Uh, after you. OK. I don't wish to be rude, but the only thing I'd like to see now is the exit. Oh, there are some more clothes here to, um, to have a look at. Yes, I don't think uh, I don't think there's going to be much in this shop that will appeal to me, to be honest. Um, oh, well, those are quite nice, I suppose. Oh, they look very impressive. Yeah, what marvelous, do you think? Marvellous, yeah? marvellous, yes, indeed. Yeah, well, perhaps another day, another lifestyle. There's, there's a bloke in bed just here. There is indeed. What? So this, I presume, is the unique shopping experience Genevieve promised. Oh, yes. I'd like you to meet Andrea. Hello, Andrea. I'm uh, Paul. Hello. Andrea, nice Hi. Nice to meet you. Um, what, what, are, what's happening here? <laughs> Andrea actually lives here. He lives here. Yes. In in the, in, he lives in the store. He lives in the shop, indeed. All the time. Yeah. It's my home. Can I show you around? Oh, yes, by all means. Yes, I'd love to. Yes, lead the way. It turns out Andrea plays football for a local team called Brera, and someone in Bickenberg's publicity thought it would be good for PR if he lived in the store. This is my bathroom. Your bathroom? Yeah. Wow. So where is the... Um, oh, that's the shower. The, the shower is there. And how do we get into... The, oh, from here, I see. Yeah. Um, uh-huh. And these, and these clothes aren't all... They're, they're pushed back, I see. OK. So um, what happens when uh, customers come in and you're having a shower? What, what do you do? Oh, I see. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That, what, that works? They, they, they stay away? Uh-huh. What do we have through here? It's my gym. My gym. Oh, right. So uh, a series of weights here. Uh, somebody's obviously glued those. And I notice there's a banker just over there. Do they sort of look in and watch you when you're when you're doing this stuff? Okay, over there. Ci vedi, cioè, 
mentre fai le cose. Sì, ma quando voglio comunque posso chiudere. Oh, you spoil their fun. <laughs> I could imagine some people desperately trying to get a job in that bank simply so they could look over this way. Would you like to see the rest of the house? Oh, yes, please. Okay. Thank you very much, thank you. No problem. Okay. At first glance, it looks a bit mad, but when you really think about it, it's insane. But I suppose it beats living at home with your parents like most unmarried Italians. I am only small on double XL. This is small, but your size is medium. In fact, not only does Andrea live in a luxurious apartment right in the centre of the city, he even has off-street parking. And this is my car. This is your car? Wow, it's, it's beautiful. This is your garage, is it? Yeah, it's my garage. It's wonderful to have such a good parking space in the middle of Milan. Absolutely. It's a, it's a beautiful house you have here. Yeah. Yes, I'll take it. I've travelled 